Servus, welcome back everybody to another episode of Frenbo. So we are in the next chapter, which is called Double Personality. And we've just had a hat. I don't know why she took that down because I loved it. It was Mr. Midnight. Uh, and we are now in this. And I guess those are the lovely ladies that we're gonna meet. And welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Mm hmm That doesn't sound weird at all. Also because they're down a very weird imaginary well, so... Skulls always look happy, do they? Ooh, a kettle. I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. It's fun to see what people have in their homes, exactly. Are those eyes? Ugh. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. Or you could escape, you know? A painting of a teapot with painted tea inside. A cooker to cook. My mom told me how to use it. I don't like to light matches though. Thought I heard something. Okay, oh cute knife. A sharp shiny knife. Could be good to have you. Spatula. It sounds like Dracula but in spa. <laughs> yes, friend. <laughs> Try my tiny little hands. And I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Mm, cookies in all colors and flavors. She has great restraint. I would have eaten those. <laughs> Flour makes me sneeze. Ooh, baking soda. This always made the biggest cupcakes. And a pine cone. Maybe we'll attack. So we have baking soda. A knife. A card, a crayon, and a pot or a kettle. Mm, Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Matches. Why would we cook anything though? <laughs> to light up the darkness or just for fun? They like meat. This doesn't bring me any good memories. I won't sit down. Beans. Bag smells funny. Oh, salt. A very good ingredient. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. It opened. What is that inside? What an odd little thing. Looks like a seed. Close that. Close that, friend. No, she doesn't. I wonder who Mush is, because he owns all the mushrooms. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess they think they are insects. Garlic? There are no vampires. Good. Pepper. Always good to dress up the soup. <laughs> I would take somebody else's food. Not all of it, anyways. Okay, what a pretty can. Good. Okay. Did the ingredients also disappear from the shelf? Ooh, a dancing teddy. It doesn't have shoes. This looks like a plant. Great observation, friend. The window is locked. Great. They don't smell. There must be plastic flowers then. Uh, do we... Fill up water, water in the pot, ready to cook. Why would we cook though? Turn it off. Mm, they like dessert, but they don't have a hearty meal in here, so. This is not my cup. The teapot has no tea at all, and there's sugar in many colors. Delicious and beautiful. Caramel sauce all over. Sweet candy and chocolate cake, my favorite. Should I? No, you shouldn't. Maybe just a little. <laughs> Firewood in line to be burnt. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. I don't remember the deer. Is that a flying pig? I still can't believe we axed the beetle pig. They don't. Huh. They have separate bodies, but over there they have joint bodies. That 
was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. Is that where we are? The tiny house in the middle of nowhere. What is in there? A vase to put some flowers in it. It has ashes inside. Okay. Hmm. This doesn't fit in the house at all. A monster who likes goats. <laughs> and a broom to fly away. Or just to clean around. So are we making a nice soup and the house lovely for them so they will let us go? The sisters, they look alike. The drawer opened. Let me see what's inside. Like candles to light up the darkness or, you know, for a satanic ritual. Which I guess is uh, more the case here. Red rose in a painting, huh? You can't reach that. Yes, you can. Okay. I don't want to go up there just yet, though. Oh no. Thank you. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Ugh, it's that monster and so much blood. This looks like a very old painting. Yeah, it was the mother with her two babies that are now weirdly joined into one. I wonder what the deal is with doll heads and roses. Ugh, these toys are so ugly. Hello doll, who caught you? Water all around. The water makes me feel helpless. Ooh, we can steal stuff. Mm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Nice stuff, very girly. And white candles everywhere. Should we dare to look? Uh, that was not what I was expecting to happen here. Is it that baby? Oh, I see you. Have it comfortable. Hello. Why are there dead babies all around? A secret bottle with a secret inside. Can you get to it? No. Okay. Why can't you get that? Oh. Can we use the broom as a bridge? Great, now the broom is broken. Bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. Can we not even take it anymore? Was that the purpose? Throw the knife, friend, honestly. Just throw it. Great, well, we can't get in there then. Oh, no, we're back here. We actually did fall down. But our broom is gone now. I don't like that. Oh, not good. It's so dark in here. Things that move on their own are never good. Ew! Hello! Who sued you two together? I wouldn't like that either. Oh no, I wish I could take you out of here. A funny doll, are you waiting for some for Easter? Those shoes are too big for me. There's a cage. Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. Oh, he is in there. It's you. Oh my goodness, my beloved friend, I found you. Friend, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh. Oh, friend, I'm so happy to see you. I miss you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I really missed you. Oh, dear friend, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. 
I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I wish nothing of this happened to us, Kitty. I will open this cage. Friend, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Friend, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, friend? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Friend, did you hear that? Did you... I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you. All right? I love you. Oh, so cute. A scorpion. Scorpions make me nervous. Old joint grannies. Great. Just one hat. Pretty doll. My own dress, but those are pretty too. Dusting around some other things. Big umbrella. Toys in the attic always carry sadness within them. A lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? But that's like all there is in the attic? Okay. Oh! Oh no! Oh, we're falling again don't have anything new so oh oh you scared me I thought nobody was living here there you are we were waiting for you where is your head my head my head is just in the right place you the precious being from the other world who would ever believe us I'm confused <laughs> what are you talking about Franbao, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically, very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down, how, how is that you know all this? We just know we have to, we are part of this world. But don't be sad, bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great, I can see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It'll make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little friend? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves a cat more than anything in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place, a very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant and I killed a bug and it was terrible. Um, and then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Um, and I see a real pine cone family. That was before I came here. They lived in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Um, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. Th that was also in the woods, and, and now I'm here looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, friend? I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure anymore. I think I'm 10. Well, we are 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. 
and you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as you say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Let's just be nice. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little a magic trick on us. The ritual. I told you. Do you like magic? Magic is magical. Who doesn't like magic? Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Summon the old lost body. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different places bodies. But how is it that you are like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We've never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back, but we will do that later when we are not attached to each other anymore and show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things we will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free. Don't even try to open that cage. If you help us, we will help him. Sounds fair to me. I'll be waiting for you. And friend, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, you silly girl? <laughs> yeah, well, the cage, you bitches. Sorry, but that's what they are. Look at that. The old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears. Your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog. The head of a young virgin. Hair and blood from a black cat. A pentagram made of ashes and the burnt body of a fox. All together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Manam bukaksne omanai igbonte de ibure ash iburemon. Kaksne mabuka ibure fiveran fiveran. Okay. So they want hair and blood from my cat. They probably want my head. I don't like most of this. I honestly don't. Oh, friend, did you get the key already? No, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair from me and took some blood. That's awful. I think it's for that recipe. I think they're witches, wicked witches, you know, like in the stories we like to read. Yes, you're absolutely right. I don't know what to do. I don't know, friend. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before and that they would get revenge against the one who did this to them. And they also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They have the evil inside. I may, I mean, maybe that someone had its reasons. Hmm. Do you think we can do something to change their minds? There must be something, something that I'm really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. I'll see you soon, my dearest. Something that they are really afraid of. Hearty foods, maybe? <laughs> like a proper soup? Oh, there's another room? Hello. Oh, are you that girl? Are you the version whose head we need? Oh my goodness, the smell! Many tiny paintings, and there is a cat. Burning candles. 
Jets, the Blueberry Tree Volume 2. Antonio the Greatest. Oh, he was the... He... Oh, okay. He played all those instruments. Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Ambience. Oh, a typewriter. And it works. There are many books and things on the shelf. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Uh, the stairs end up in a wall. Not anymore, I guess. Oh, now we're down here. Can we do anything with that? The moonlight seat. With the moonlight reflection, that sounds good. Got a flower. Wow, this really is a nice blue rose. Okay. I don't think we have anything else we can hmm. combine that with that. No? Okay. I thought maybe we could go up there. So every time we use that, we just. Oh! We need a woman in the water with the rose. Hey, who are you? It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Are we climbing outside? Yeah, we are. Hey, you. Oh, that's his voice. Yes, he's speaking. Me. I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger and don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toady cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see that dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Oh. Oh my goodness, I'll think of something else then. I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Ha, huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. I can see why. You got a plank. Can we use the water? The rose with that? No, okay. Should I have used the seat up here? Maybe. Oh well, it doesn't matter in which room we are, right? We're always gonna end up down here. I'm just sad we don't have the broom anymore. Oh. Yes, one after the other, every step at a time. Take the plank. Put it on there. And then, cut the rope. I cut the rope. Wonderful. Great. And now I'll get back down. One step at a time, friend. This takes ages. Oh, thank god. Okay. <gasps> Froggy! How rude. What the fuck just happened? That burned! Why? There's no fire! I can't touch the bottle, it really burns. Weird frog acid.
The wind has stopped. No, it hasn't. Okay. Thought it had. There's a bike. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. And a rock. Big, big rock. I leave it there. Did you find a solution already? I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. I know we have something that makes you see things that others can. How do you know that? I'm a talking toast. To toast! <laughs> I'm a talking toast. Isn't that normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me and that makes you special. It's logical. Oh, you're right. But what about the things I can see then? Have you seen everything? Maybe I'm missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. Yeah, but how do we get this? I don't think I have anything that protects me from scorching hotness. I would need... No, not, not going outside. I would need some sort of oven mitts. Wait. Maybe now we can take that handkerchief. Just take it. We have fire and we can put the cauldron there. to get our hands on something that helps us with not burning our hands on that flask. Oh, tweezers. Oh my god, I did not see those. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Yep. Okay, what does it say? Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. How the frick is it snowing again? Sorry. We had over 20 degrees yesterday and now it's snowing again. Really thick flocks. Oh my god. Flakes. Sorry. Uh, we were, uh, yeah, revealing true soul. Sorry. Um... <laughs> you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual. So, moi. Five black candles, which we have, ashes to form a pentagram, a bloomed, a blue bloomed moonlight rose, salt and pepper, Hair from the person you want to be witch. Mm -hmm. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Which black and white square? Huh. Um, put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil. Pour over the person. <laughs> Boil and pour over the person you want to be witch. And repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. One... That sounds about right, right? Okay. 